and welcome to the David Wilson Out and About YouTube channel. Today's video is a bit different. It is a review video, but it's not a review so much of a product. It's a re review of the service uh, that Insta360 customer service and uh, repair service give. Um, I recently took the camera out on, on a long walk. Uh, and unfortunately, dropped it and scratched the lenses. Basically, I was out on a sort of seven mile hike. I was about 30 meters up a hill. Um, I decided it was a very, very windy day. It was gusty. So I got to this foot level crossing and I was walking across. I took the camera off the main stick and I put it right down on this tripod and put it in the middle of the track and I was getting a really low uh, uh, image of up the track, knowing that I could take it in the software and turn it 360 degrees round. So I was really looking forward to this. But what I didn't really notice was even on this tripod, it was and this low, it was getting really buffered, really pushed around. Now it couldn't actually fall over because it was so low to the ground, but it was being pushed about. When I looked at the footage later on, it didn't really become so apparent. It was just a little bit of judder. But then this camera's got very good image stabilization. But really what I'm getting at is that should have been my warning sign because straight after that, what I did, I put it back on the big stick round about a height of uh, 60 centimeters, 600 millimeters, and put it down. And I was doing this walk away from it and walk through and I was going to turn it and it fell over onto some gravel and it scratched the lenses. So after a few tears and a lot of swearing, I decided to obviously abort the walk, pack the camera up and come home. Now, this was Friday the 17th of February. I was home by mid, about midday, obviously checked the camera over, made sure it was sort of working other than the lens, which it was, no other scratches, no dents or dings. And I went on the Insta360 website and um, tried to, to arrange or to start a work order, a repair order. Well, the first thing, and fair enough, it's all, it's all written there for you. It's all itemized that what you have to do, excuse me using a cheat sheet because this is a while ago. I'm a bit old. I can't remember everything. <laughs> um, I've gone on the website and it said what I had to do, if I wanted to, re to raise a work repair order, I would have to first email Insta and get an RMA code. Now, an RM, RMA code is a return material or authorization. It also states that this can take up to X amount of days to actually be sent back so basically you, you might have to wait a few days for the RMA code now I know on the videos I watch because the reason I'm making this review is I watched loads of YouTube or say loads I found two YouTube videos uh, and the service was a nightmare I mean it was going through it it was taking this amount of time to get the RMA code they weren't accepting the fact that they had it back they were constantly sending emails to cancel the work order um, you can always look them up, they're, and, but they're really scary when you're in a situation that suddenly your ca camera's damaged and you're talking about sending it all the way to Hong Kong and it's not exactly the cheapest piece of kit. So you can watch them and then watch this again and then this is my experience. So I've emailed them asking for an RMA code uh, and it did say that it could take up to five working days. Remembering this is a Friday. So for it to arrive. So I thought, well, hey-ho, if that's the way it is, this is going to take months, it, so be it. To my amazement, I received that code within an hour. So I've now got the RMA code. What it then explains is that you've now got to go back to the website, which I am, I am signed in for. I'm a member of, if you like, because I've got the camera registered. And you raise the repair order. So I've raised the repair order. You then... Often I did, I got an email back saying, could you give me further details, camera serial number, how long you've had it, etc., etc. Noth nothing, you know, too untoward. You can get the serial number out of the camera. You know the date you bought it, etc., etc. Obviously, please state what the damage is. I'm admitted liability, scratched front lens, etc. So the work order's ra raised. I then receive, it says it may take five working days for us to reply to this. Within that, that afternoon, I get another email saying the work order has been raised, giving me the, the number of the work order. It also explains that if it is the front lens, because obviously that's me saying it, it'll be $116.99 for the replacement, that's the parts and labor, plus all shipping costs at my own expense, which I expect because obviously I have caused the damage. They can't give me the return shipping costs at that time, obviously. 
and I don't even know what my shipping costs are going to be back to Hong Kong. That's for me to deal with. Now, what I will say, this email really did itemise everything. I mean, obviously, the address to send it to, please remove the battery, remove the SIM card, just send the basic unit back. Obviously, if you can, original box, which I did. And it was very, very clear and, and concise, concise, you know, just easy to follow. So I've done all that. Now, unfortunately, well, say unfortunately, next stage was I now want to post it and then suddenly realise I now have to raise a customs invoice. Now, this is where I ended up having a lot of difficulty, but that's maybe, maybe it's my age. Or I just don't send things to Hong Kong, China or places like that. Um, you have to raise a customs invoice or it's commonly known as a pro, 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 pro forma invoice. So what I've done, I've gone online to do that. And the faff was things like I put in camera, value of camera and a lot of the actual um, couriers just do not still, for some reason, will not take cameras with batteries in. So they're saying no batteries. So you're sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place. But I've removed the battery. An Insta have asked me to remove the battery. So what I've done off my own back, and actually watching another video where a guy did this, I put it down as a webcam. Because a webcam doesn't necessarily have a battery. It's something you attach and it's powered by USB off your laptop or your computer. So I put it down as a webcam. You then get a number that you can put in onto your pro forma, your invoice form, customs form, and it raises it for you. You have to attach it to the uh, in a clear document envelope, which fortunately I had because I have done some uh, exporting, but that was mainly when we were in the EU, and that was to Holland and, and uh, Germany. But so this is slightly different. This is going to Hong Kong. So I've got I've done all the paperwork now. From my side, I was working the Saturday and the Sunday. So there was no way I was going to get it off in, in, the, in the post. So I didn't actually get the parcel sent until Monday the 21st. So although I was starting all the procedure on Friday the 17th, Monday was when I posted it. I chose to send it by DPD, who again, I'm not here to, I'm not here to review couriers, but they've got quite a bad reputation. But then, don't you just hear the bad? You, people don't tend to praise, not normally. So what I did, I chose DPD, I went through the motions, uh, £450 insurance, and it was going to cost me, and that was shipping for three days, in three days, and it was going to cost me £28.25, so literally Monday, paid that, taking it down, and that's been picked up, it was picked up the following day on the 22nd, so it's on its way. Now the, obviously it's very worrying when you've got a camera of this expense, it's not the most expensive, but it's still you know, four and a half hundred plus pounds you're, you're sending off in, into the, the air um, you do worry about it so uh, I went on to the DPD site signed up for regular tracking updates and they were brilliant they were literally giving me day by day blow of where it was what center it's at it's in the air it's arrived at China it's cleared customs wow you know that's your, your moment and eventually it arrives at the insta repair center I think where are we I think it's on the 27th so the camera arrives on the 27th I get a ping from DPD on my phone and I check on, online and it's arrived at the TCC Repair Centre in Hong Kong. That's what they call it, yeah, Insta TCC Centre. So it's arrived. I look up in my email and Insta have acknowledged the fact that they've received it. They now say that what they will do, they will need it now to need to inspect it and it may take up to five days to inspect it and send you their appraisal of the damage to the camera. This again, in other... Uh, the, the bad reviews it's the same thing it says five days in my instance the same morning I think that email must have come during the night remember the time difference of, of the countries I got another email saying it had been inspected the repair would cost $116 you know 99 cents plus I can't remember the return postage I put it on a picture up there plus the return postage do I accept that so what I've done, I've gone into the site. It's very, very simple. There's the invoice. PayPal button, click, pay for. It then says that it could take now up to five working days. And we get this five working days thing again. So it's in the system. I'm happy that it's there. I'm happy they're repairing it. And I've paid the money. That That's it, done. To my, again, shock, the next morning, I get an email from Insta saying that, they had already dispatched, the, ca the camera was on its way back to me. That's it, the camera. What they had done, they didn't bother uh, changing the lens. They've replaced the camera and they've shipped it. They shipped it by DP, uh, DHL, who again got terrible reputation. 
Uh, I logged onto their site, requested updates. I got absolutely brilliant service again every day. This is where it is. It's on its way back. Within a day, I get an email saying that they expect it. The delivery date to me will be the 3rd of March, Friday the 3rd of March. Uh, I've got it down as signed for, and, and that, that's it. So I leave it. Now, on the 2nd of March, I was out on a walk, but fortunately I wasn't too far away. I get another ping, uh, a text message, saying that it was out for delivery. Obviously, I'm a bit concerned now because it's a signed for product, but I was local. So I've rushed home, and lo and behold, the item's back in my hand, the camera's back in my hand on Thursday, the 2nd of March. So in total... The days it was gone, that's all the shipping, that's including you know, just dropping it off at a, a, a local drop-off point for DPD to pick it up on the 21st. It was back on the 2nd of March, which is nine days. That's, that nine days is even including the weekend. They're not necessarily working days. So I just thought that what I would do, I would do my own review. This is my personal experience. I can't... I can't uh, speak for others as I said there was very very bad reviews this is a good review this is a really positive review I damaged it myself it's my fault I don't find that the fees were over extortion I put them up in picture form the actual customer service was outstanding absolutely outstanding so, and I've got you know well, I've got a brand new camera so they, it's up to them whether they want to repair it or send a new one out but here it is so yes a brilliant experience. I can't thank Insta, Insta360 enough for m making something that has cost me money. It's a painful experience. You've damaged your camera and it's costing you money. And I, the money side of it, 100 and something pound, yes, it, it's an ouch. I want my camera back. I mean, I've got other cameras. I'm, I'm filming on the DJI Pocket 2 now. But I want to get out and about with this one. So it's that time you haven't got the camera. And I don't find nine days from start to finish that unreasonable i think it's very very good service i hope that i'm not just a one-off but as i said i'm just keeping this as a, as a personal review i'm hoping that other people will actually step up to the front if they've had good customer service and give them a shout they deserve it that was absolutely brilliant service so was it by both the couriers who again have got such a bad when you go online it's just all bad reviews but getting back to what i said who praises everybody's always happy to slag companies off for this and that and the other but they very rarely say you know good service excellent service in this instance i've got excellent service from start to finish on a final note be very very careful if you've got one of these i mean this this review basically is only aimed at people either interested in buying a 360 camera obviously people that have got an insta any, any form of insta product because it, it still has to go back to hong kong but be very careful they do stick out quite a long way and if they do fall over they're very very delicate so you've just got to be aware of that they're not quite like other action cameras and obviously i've learned the hard way lots of us have there's lots of people who've done this and with the x2 it's the same it's got the same sort of lenses so you know you can't odds it it's not a throw around gopro <laughs> put it that way so and i'm looking forward i've got it all back now i've not been out since i got it back a week or so ago because i was waiting for this bracket to hold my road uh wireless go mic because I, I want to i vlog so i want to have it on the extended stick and be able to use the the wireless setup so i'm hoping to get out within the next couple of days the weather's abysmal at the moment here in the uk in the south of you or southern in kent um so i'm just taking this opportunity to get this video out and uh let you know my feelings anyway if you've got any any comments or anything you any questions please you know put them in the comments below but yep well, that's it for now and i hope that uh, if you're thinking about buying one of these cameras and you're worried about the customer service at least you know one person has had absolutely excellent service bye for now